Good morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. Today I've got my MK17 diesel or compression ignition engine on the bench yet again. Uh, now I just ran this last weekend for the first time, uh, but since I've kind of got the diesel bug right now, I thought I'd do an experiment since I'm also having a hard time finding additional Davis diesel fuel right now. So what this run today is going to be is going to actually be my first diesel fuel mixing experiment. Um, so what I've done is the fuel that I mixed I just put in this canister. Um, so what I'm calling it is my diesel homebrew. And if you look at this image right here, you'll see the ingredients that I've used. I've just used K1 kerosene, um, some starter, some Johnson's starter fluid, which says it's about 50% ether, and some just Klotz castor oil. So what I did with that Johnson's uh, starter fluid was, I just sprayed it into a graduated plastic container that had uh, graduations on it so I could see how much fluid I got out. I just sprayed the entire contents of that into the container with the lid partially open so all the propellant could come out and the liquid that was left was about six ounces of liquid. Now notice I'm saying liquid, I'm not saying ether because that being only a 50% ether, obviously not all of what I've got in that liquid is ether. But what I did was I mixed that six ounces of liquid from the starting fluid with six ounces of castor oil and then six ounces of kerosene put it all together, shook it up, mixed it well, and then just put it in this canister for easy bringing to the field. So this is basically probably not enough ether in this mixture, uh, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. So let's cross your fingers. Uh, I also have my smartphone here, and it has the DB meter on it. What I'm gonna do also is take a calibration reading with me not talking here, and then hopefully we'll get some DB readings that maybe might be a little bit more believable. I know they're not going to be per spec, but I'm going to try and put it in the background here so that uh, you can actually see it in the background. I know that's not the proper location to take sound readings, but that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see, what else? I don't have any other starter fluid with me. So we're going to have to just hope that uh, me priming this engine with this fuel is enough to fire it up. Calibrated. Okay, let's prime this baby first. Now I am going to Hold, cover the Venturi and just bring fuel to the engine. I'm not going to actually prime it this way. So fuel is just there. I'm actually going to squirt some diesel in here and see if that's enough to...
Okay, well, as you can see, this fuel worked, and it worked pretty damn good, too. Now, the one thing I did not do, which was stupid, is I did not take an ambient temperature reading, because it is probably low 60s here, uh, if not even just 60 degrees. So this engine was completely stone cold, not cold, but ambient. I do have my thermometer here, but I kind of got wrapped up in watching this engine run. Um, but anyway, so it proves that this fuel does work, seem to work pretty nice. Um, I just so happen to have my Silver Swallow also. So let me take a quick break here, swap engines and see if I can get that one running too. Okay, so now let's shoot with the Silver Swallow engine. Let's get a baseline reading of that. It's uh, 56 degrees is the temperature of that engine. Again, let's, uh, do I have this open? Check that. So I've got this one, two, let's do three turns open. I've got a Zor 10-4 prop on here this time. And I'm gonna do just enough to bring this fuel to the engine. Now, I'm going to prime it and see if we have the same success. Basically, that's really dark, so I don't know if that means it's lean or rich. Let's see. I think I want to richen this up a little bit more.
Okay, so I'm calling this fuel experiment a resounding success. Now, here's some, uh, here's some caveats. This was only the second time this engine's been run. I am running a different propeller on it than I did the first time, and I'm running a different Venturi. I'm running a smaller Venturi on it also. So, as you could see, it looked like I had the compression set properly, and I'm still kind of trying to figure out the needle valve setting. But, the purpose of this experiment was to prove that this fuel blend works. And it seemed to work pretty well. Now, the erratic running of this engine, I don't know if that was due to the fuel, or my setting of it and the things that I've changed. But either way, the fuel ran, seemed to run the engines pretty well, it seemed to start pretty easily, and despite maybe some tuning issues with this engine, it ran fine with just that very simple mixture of fuel. So overall, I'm very, very pleased with this, and I think from now on, that's the fuel I'm gonna be using, seeing as Davis diesel fuel is on back order, and there's no idea when there's gonna be more. So anyway, that's been the homebrew diesel fuel experiment. Hope you learned something, I know I did, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.